They're calling us already. Hey, but check this out. I got a deck. I can chill out, check things out. Come out in the morning. Hey, and the best way to travel light is to do your laundry. Smart, smart. I missed my first event at 9 o'clock because I ain't go to bed to 3.30. But check this out. Tom Jordan doing his morning show. Check him out. Win any Ford giveaway, come register with us, name, address, phone number, what Ford you like, you love, you want to have in your driveway, and you have an opportunity to win any Ford up to $30,000. Ford is back. Ford. It's going down, y'all. 2015, fantastic boy. In addition to concerts, you got work seminars, all kind of stuff going on. Right now, I'm doing one in the casino lounge about money. She used to work for Fidelity Investment. Let's go check it out. Children. And so Fidelity was wonderful. They sponsored my first radio show. Kathy Hughes gave me my start on WOL Radio in Washington, D.C. And I isolated those attitude, beliefs, and behaviors into what I call the seven wealthy habits. The attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors of financially successful people. And the fact is that Financially successful people, they think almost the opposite. And they do almost the opposite of what most people do. And as I reflect it, that's exactly what Mr. Earl learned because he was in the parking lot of a bank and he simply watched what the wealthy people did and did the same. I know a lot of y'all, y'all got bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, PhDs, and you know what y'all will do? Y'all will think your way out of any opportunity that comes your way. And Ford is back. Ford equals. It's going down, y'all. 2015, fantastic boy. They even have cooking shows for those chefs in the house. Here we go. So then I have... My tomatoes, obviously you could add a little salt to this if you wanted to. I prefer the flavors. Places for you to get some good food, learn some good cooking tips. You got a lot of stuff going on. So, the past This is time when Fords do their thing. Let's check them out. You can go anywhere you go. You can go on a water slide, you can go skydiving, you can be on a five. Come on, man. down y'all 2015 fantastic boy y'all that don't mind getting in the water we got the water park for you check it out 
They even got pool for the people that like to shoot pool. So you can't say when you come on a cruise there's nothing to do. They giving this brother's giving lessons. <laughs> I don't know, she's pretty good. <laughs> you know, he's saying that, but you know, look who look who on the table now. Look who just holding a stick. That's right. <laughs> so who really giving a lesson? See, come on the cruise. You got a cruise. Now look what Ford's doing. They wanted the sponsors here on the cruise. Look at that baby. Somebody going home with that. You know, you fill out a card, put your card in. You can leave here with that card. Win any Ford giveaway, come register with us, name your address, phone number, what Fords you like, you love, you want to have in your driveway, and you have the opportunity to win any Ford up to $30,000. Ford is back. Ford equals. It's going down, y'all. 2015, fantastic boy. See, this is the reason why I can't stop, because it inspires people, like her. She said she Googled it. She wanted to do the time joiner. I'm glad she did it. First year. What's your name? This is our friend. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We gotta get our friend. What's your name? Didi. This is Didi. This is Didi. Tom Joyner. Our first year, and we're coming back next year. Thank you. Ford is back. Ford equals. It's going down, y'all. 2015. Fantastic boy. Let's get back over to this Home Depot seminar about businessmen and entrepreneurs. Let's go check them out. Well, your learning potential cannot, your earning potential cannot exceed your learning potential. Does that make sense? So when I meet entrepreneurs and they don't go to conferences, they don't read books, they don't go to websites, they don't subscribe to newsletters, they don't talk to other entrepreneurs who are in the same industry that they're in, but actually I've taken on a new title as of this past Monday. Uh, I'm still a senior vice president, but I'm executive editor at large, um, and this session is very interesting to me. Thank you. And a round of applause. Here's the key to career success. I, I, I celebrated my 28th year at Black Enterprise last month. What I did is I fired myself from my job every three years and asked for a new job. So, yes, yes. And that's how you do it. And usually that comes with raises and new offices and the whole nine. So, career tip for me. Uh, what, I guess, advice would you all give as far as entrepreneurs who know where it is that they want to go, but as far as taking that first initial step to getting there? My first piece of advice to all entrepreneurs is, is not to assume that what you're doing, no one ever did it before. You can't, if you get mad at me because I told you the truth, then we weren't supposed to be friends in the first place. So, you know, so that, and that's what, it all, that's what it all boils down to. Now, let me, I'm going to pass my mic down because me and Tia will be. As black people, we need to start really t um, touching into each other's networks. Because you know, like I said, but it's all about, at the end of the day, what this situation is all about is about us helping each other. At the end of the day, you know the thing is, is that what I what, within my friendships that I have with people, that it's all about unadulterated truth. Feels good to be able to take a little break. Did seminars all morning. Now I'm out here on my little deck, overviewing the water, about to enjoy nature and enjoy looking at the inside of my eyelids for a good two hours. See you when I see you. Ford is back. Ford equals. It's going down, y'all. 2015. Hey. Fantastic boy. I ain't like it when the women accuse Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby at 89, 90 motherfucking years old. That motherfucker ain't no threat now. Forty years ago, if you wanted to protect somebody else, you'd have said some shit 40 years ago if you thought he was a threat. So don't come trying to bring me down to disrespect. Had it not been for Bill Cosby, I know I wouldn't be here. Doing what I've been doing for damn near 30, 30 years. Thank you, Bill Cosby. I don't give a shit what you did bad. None of that shit can erase the positive shit you did for me as a black woman. Do I think he molested some women? I believe he fucked everybody said, who we got? Let's go check out family songs, see what they look like.
you don't you don't know. You don't know what happens when we go home and sometimes when we're behind closed doors. Just like I don't know your story. Y'all look real pretty today. Somebody need a hug. Somebody needs somebody to tell them that I love you. Because you ain't heard it in a while. And I love you. I want y'all to know that sincerely. Me and my sister wouldn't have made it to this point without supporters and prayers and people like you that have invested in us. And we thank you. And you the road may be bumpy getting there, but I'm pressing through. I will enjoy this journey, no matter come with me. I'll become better and stronger and wiser. Every day Checking out Millie Jackson who I won't be able to see so we checking out her sound check We are not to change y'all, not to change, check this out Oh, man. 